As the founder of the, the Desktop 3D Printing Initiative here at the AKC, I was lucky enough to actually have my Replicator 2 uh, in my cube with me. Uh, and uh, in the first quarter alone, I uh, was able to print over 250 distinct parts for, for various programs. And what you s see here today for James Webb is really just, just one of those programs. Uh, the James Webb Space Telescope is NASA's biggest science mission ever. It's going to be the largest space telescope that's ever been launched. And so the pictures that we expect from James Webb will change our understanding of the universe and be much more spectacular than anything we have ever seen before. Having the MakerBot on our desktops has really allowed us to bring rapid prototyping within the design, the design cycle here at the Advanced Technology Center. We've, we've used rapid prototyping for years, but uh, invariably it, it involves outsourcing parts to machine shops. This allows us to quickly go from conceptual design to CAD model to 3D printed part um, and to really see and measure how that part interacts with the real world. And, and in the end, it allows us to produce better designs faster. And in particular, 3D printing has, has really played a role here for us in uh, allowing us to develop products up front, uh, find potential mistakes, optimize very early in the design process. Uh, so has, that has been very, very beneficial. James Webb Space Telescope is going to operate a million and a half kilometers away from Earth. So we use the MakerBot parts to uh, test our processes and to make sure that it was done right the first time. So it also allowed us to work in parallel. So while we were developing some of the parts that were going to go into the instrument, the instrument itself was in a cryo vacuum chamber and it was going along with its cryo testing while we were developing these prototypes with the MakerBot, which allowed us as soon as the instrument came out of the cryo vacuum chamber to quickly and efficiently put these parts in very safely. One of the things that I really love about the MakerBot and 3D printing is that um, it enables you to make r physical things fast. And you know, here at the Advanced Technology Center, everybody wants to be an inventor. And when we first got our Replicator 2, word traveled fast that we had had a 3D printer. And you know, engineers came out of the woodworks, knocking on my cube door, just hearing the rumors, asking if they could print something. And from the whimsical things to actual parts for a spacecraft, uh, we had requests for everything, and we were able to accommodate them all. We're really just getting started uh, with the MakerBots here at, uh, in my lab. As I, as I said, I was able to have the first of our Replicator 2s, but now we've grown to three Replicators, and we have about 10 people that use them on a regular basis, and we're looking to expand to just to have, allow anyone at the Advanced Technology Center to have access to a MakerBot at any time they need it.